Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing everything that was covered this week in DevStream 76. For this week, we were joined by Forsythia, Johanny, and Philip Statsny. These three review details on update 13.1 and some Q&A. So, let's just get right into this. start off, they showed off the new premium cosmetic, the Soldier of Fortune outfit. It's a very military-centric outfit and looks quite cool. They then talked about the improvements to the Xbox 4K experience that rolled out with update 13.1, giving more clarity on what they did in this regard, before switching over to addressing more about the LMG nerfs that came with the update. Saying they're still collecting feedback and they're aware not everyone is happy with the changes, and they already have some minor changes planned in this regard. They did not state which direction these changes are planned to be in, if it's nerfing the weapon more or undoing some of the nerfs. They then answered a question from a community member regarding a bug on Switch where audio is swapped for the player involved. Johanny then stated that they are working on it and intended it to originally be fixed in 13.1, as in their testing it was fixed. Sadly though, it seems to still be an issue. They're gonna be working on it again and hope to have it fixed soon. They then reiterated that Legacy Season 9 is gonna be the last Legacy Season. And I think that in the future, they are gonna be intending on removing the other Legacy Seasons from the way they were wording some things. I could be wrong on that aspect, but at least that's how it sounded to me. I think this is a rather strange decision by the devs, but they stated that it's being done in an effort to make room for future th features, so we will be having to see what that means for the future. Next up, they announced a booster apocalypse or 33% booster cost decrease this weekend from the 25th to the 28th. They later stated that they are intending a double XP weekend sometime closer to the holidays. So following that, we got some massive news. They don't intend on bringing AI into encounters, saying that it would be way too difficult for them to add to the game saying that the code is just for the AI in the tutorials, and that was very difficult to add to the game in the first place. This is indeed sad news to hear, but I guess it's understandable. This style of news was followed up by a question regarding when we could expect a new map. The devs said they would like a new map within the next year, but it's going to take some time for a new map that isn't broken and problematic to be released. That was basically everything covered in this dev stream. It was a good Q&A, and if you have any particular questions, they were most likely answered in this dev stream. But when it comes to new information, there was not much. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.